Hey everyone, it's Dave here, and today I'm checking out the quest free update to Walking Dead Saint and Sinners. I'm essentially making this intro because there was a whole shebang that happened yesterday. The concept was initially to play the game a little bit before the patch drops, cause I don't necessarily remember how the level of graphics and just the overall quality was like, and then after the update I would see directly the comparison, so that was the concept, <laughs> and then I was waiting waiting and the build never arrived to me or so I thought cause today I verified the version and apparently I was playing on the quest free one all this time so I suppose there's no need to record a second half of the footage anyways bear this in mind while watching this video that the other part is never appearing cause it's this <laughs> although my impressions are very much real maybe it was a very very long time i didn't play the first one to fully realize how gutter everything was cause jumping into this i didn't necessarily notice that big of a difference though nowadays that might be because we are pretty much spoiled with the recent releases especially that this enhancement seems like the bare minimum we should have. <laughs> I think my biggest takeaway is that the game kinda chunks especially with the stuttering and the skips so it's kinda going in the retribution route which is very much on brand for the developers. It is nice it's being updated though I would prefer the sequel to be as well and if someone didn't play this game yet then this this is a very good time to jump back in and experience a one-of-a-kind game for us on the platform. Let's go to the gameplay! So, after two and a half years, we're back to the prequel of Saints and Sinners, classically to check the quest free update that we've been doing recently with the games. Now, for this game specifically, I thought of the concept to play a little bit the game pre-patch to just see how it was before because I clearly forgot by the time and by playing Retribution and then in the other half of the video we'll see the actual update. For now this is gonna be just like a refresher. Things are looking rather rough especially that I have now pancake lenses so it's the resolution that's blurring the distance, textures you know, <laughs> if you've played this before. Now the better question is what we'll do, because the trial will essentially put us straight up in the combat, and then we have Aftershock Squeeze Start, which it was not there before, and it's essentially having an access to the end game. so maybe that... I actually just want to see how this revolves. AJ. Where the fuck are you, man? My legs. My... my fucking legs. You gotta find me. I can't... I, I, I can't even look at him. Don't have much left. Oh, Jesus. The cash is here. In Dana's auto shop, like you said. We scored. The reclaimed? I fucked them up good. But it cost me, man. Please, you, you, you have to find me, save me, I, I, I can't hold on for long, fucking hurry, man, bleeding out, god damn it, should have memorized that fucking map in the lumberyard office better, I don't want to die, man, please come get me, how much time left, I'll think about it, we didn't really play this part because I didn't have access to it, so maybe we'll actually continue this after the update because I'm curious how Aftershocks... what happened essentially. But this patch is mostly about the graphical update. The bus is looking rather rough if not much detail going on. Let's do one specific area. Look through certain stuff and then I'll see you in the quest free one. 
Where's my diary? I went with the classic, which is Via Carolla. I don't know if we'll have some stuff going on, but it seems like it. There might be some kind of party going on. <laughs> I really don't remember much. The only thing standing between you and death is your food. Hand it. Do I look like I'm fucking around with you? I didn't ask you. How did she not die from a straight up stab? <laughs> Think is that also. I'll be a little bit confused about the mechanics because Retribution plays a little bit differently from the original. But yeah, the grand textures just flat. <laughs> There's no like discrepancy between the objects unless it's interactable. There's also forbidden rendering going on, which is interesting. Oh, I'm not playing with you. <laughs> Pardon my skills? I'm a melee tourist, not a gun one. <laughs> But it's cool that now you have an easy access to the end game. What's happening with the 200 weapons, which I was never a fan of? Okay, that's nice. With Aftershocks, the goal is to get those catches, right? I wonder how the auto progression works in terms of the decisions we've made in the reserve. I know that the prequel has better immersion with the mechanics, but then the dismemberment and some connections are a bit weird. It's essentially a shooting range. What's happening with those zombies here? I don't know what I'll be looking forward to the update because I'm not necessarily... I just didn't look in details what's gonna be happening. Well, it will. <laughs> You're lucky. I don't know how those weapons work. Bandages would really help me out. I could trade them for something you need. Bandages could save my life. That mean nothing to you? What's happening with your eyes? Like, they're... Going outside the skull. I didn't bring from the base, sorry mate. I could really use those bandages.
Jesus. How this game has frame drops and stuff. Yeah, it's like the game is escaping for some reason. Help me! Couple bandages. I don't think that's asking too much. What's a few bandages to you? Nothing. <laughs> I saved you. Okay, I think that's enough for this. I see now <laughs> what was the level of detail before. So let's see what's happening on the other side.